Oh, he's laying on the hard floor with his blinky. I'm helping. You're helping. <laughs> no. Mad Eye, we need to go get your hair done. But I only got one thing of broccoli and I spent one dollar instead of six. Good morning everybody, welcome to the day. We are up and moving and getting ready for school and I'm seeing something on, oh no. Somebody got you with a stamp. Pancakes for breakfast, school morning, beautiful fall morning. It's gonna be a fantastic day. He's gonna have a good day at school. <laughs> He's having a difficult time getting up and moving. So much so he's laying on the hard floor with his blinky. I'm helping. helping. <laughs> Mad Eye, we need to go get your hair done. Hi. Hi. Get your lunch packed. I'll go th plug in the curling iron. Oh no, he didn't turn into a butterfly. He turned, my hair didn't turn into a butterfly. That's a Cheeto. Oh. That's a Cheeto. Oh, I'm gonna drop the camera. The camera's gonna. While the kids are off to school today, we are going to do just a few things. Um, I need to go do a little bit of grocery shopping. Um, but I kind of wanted to share some tidbits of how I do it, because, I don't know, it helped me and it took me a while to figure it out. So if I can pass it along to somebody else and save them the time, <laughs> I'm all for it. Um, number one, make meal plans. It helps me out a ton when I do it. I'm not super good at it. I, I, I do forget, or just plain old don't want to. But when I do, it helps a ton. So make your meal plans. Two, Make a list. Make a detailed list of the things that you will need from the store. And be detailed. I mean, okay, look at this. This is what I mean by detailed. Okay, so I need uh, frozen broccoli. I need one bag, okay? Bag of salad, I need one bag. Chickpeas for our salad, two cans, so I can use one and stock one, okay? So that's what I mean by detailed. Write it down and how many you need quantity wise. And also what you're going to spend on it. So the number to the side of the parentheses is how much that item is going to cost. Um, and because I've been doing this for a while, I can kind of gauge what things cost. Um, so as, you're, as you go along, just kind of pay attention to the prices and you can figure that out. Um, two cans of chickpeas won't cost three dollars exactly. It'll be probably more around two, but I round up so that I can make sure to cover tax and stuff. So, when I'm at the store, I make a tally list of what I'm spending so that I can keep track of it because I hate getting to the register and having them say $200.49 and feel like someone's like, ugh, stabbed me in the gut and in the heart and you know that feeling when they tell you and you're just like, Oh my gosh. Okay, I hate that feeling, so I keep a tab, and I'll show you guys that when I get done with my grocery shopping. So those are my uh, advice to you guys if you're doing the grocery shopping in your household. Make a menu, make a list, itemize it, like quantity-wise, and what things are gonna cost, and then keep a tab while you're at the store. And if you think of something like we all do, oh yeah, we need, I don't know, garbage bags, and it wasn't on my list, I wait until I have everything on my list, and then I will go back. If I have some money left over, I will go back and grab the things that I forgot to write down. I usually have a stockpile behind, or stockpile at home, so that if it's something that we're running low on, it's not a complete catastrophe. Shelf Timber kind of wiped me out a little bit, but we're building it back up. And it was good because it made me use all the stuff in my house so that I can see what we're using, what we're not using, what we need to be stockpiling more on and things like that. So we're bare bones now, but it's 
first October. Thanks, Paige. Um, anyway, that's my hacks on grocery shopping. So now we're going to go and do said grocery shopping. It's not a whole lot. We don't need a ton. These are just things I needed for dinner meals for this week. I decided last minute just to leave you guys in the van and just to make it a quick run in, grab my stuff and run out type grocery trip. But I wanted to show you guys what I got and my little um, tally list thing. With my list, I had peanut oil and I had about $10 to spend on it. This one is the bigger one, the only one they had, and it was like $12 and some change. So it ended up being $3 more than I had anticipated. But I only got one thing of broccoli and I spent $1 instead of six. So that balanced out there. Um, I gave myself a budget of $40 to buy all of these things and my total that I wrote down came to $31. And again, I didn't have the wings so I did not go back and get a few things that I thought we would like, like bananas or whatever. But so I totaled it out to be 31. The actual balance on my receipt ended up being, let's see, $27.96. So I ended up spending less than I thought I would, but that's totally cool because that's just totally cool. So that's how I do my shopping, you guys. I do coupon and I do the Ibotta app. Um, I did not do any of that today. This was just a normal grocery shopping list. And I have done the order your groceries and go pick them up later. But the thing I learned is if you do the order your groceries and go pick them up, you cannot use that receipt for Ibotta or I believe any other app, except if you're doing it at Walmart, they do do the Walmart savings catcher on those receipts because they email them to you and Ibotta doesn't recognize them. So until they get that figured out, um, you can't use Ibotta with the order groceries and have them delivered to your car app, which is really cool. I need to put these things away and clean up my kitchen and get ready for kids to come home from school. It's early out day. I always forget that. It's early out day. Okay. She's planking. One, one, two, three, four, <laughs> Are you excited for your choir concert tonight? Kind of, <laughs> a little nervous, a little excited. I have a solo and I, well, duet and I haven't been practicing. Mm, and I'm kind of scared good. because what if I changed something in the solo, in the solo? I think you'll, you'll be fine. You think I'll be fine? Yep, I'm sure practice will help. Maybe you should practice a little bit now. Did you try to <laughs> it is time to make dinner. And for dinner we're having garlic parmesan, crispy garlic parmesan chicken. I've made it once before, but I didn't have any breadcrumbs. So I just got some, uh, Croutons, garlic croutons, and I smashed them up in a baggie and made my own breadcrumbs. And it makes it really, really good. So if you don't have breadcrumbs and you've got croutons in your pantry, just smash up. Just smash up like that. Right? Yeah. And it tastes super good. So dinner's cooking. Dad's not home from work yet. And the girls are getting pumped for their choir concert. Oh. Boogle, she says. <laughs> You're not pumped? Not pumped. So a, little, a little nervous. A little nervous. I wish you were doing it. Do it with small, like six words solo at the end. Mm -hmm. She's going to do fantastical. Three words solo at the end. Okay, mom has made a delicious chicken dinner. Miley is warming up because we are about to walk out the door. We are rushing. Be trying to get everything done so we can go to her concert and Hallie's concert. I'm wearing a really pretty dress under this for a first to She's making strawberry milk. Happy. Jack's snarfing. She should be snarfing because she has to be there in like five minutes. 
Snarf it. Older choir has to set up, so. Snarf it. Snarf it. Snarf it. Mm. Ah, snarf it. <laughs> hey, um, they're shoving food in their face. Yay. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. <laughs> Alright, mom worked hard and made a really good dinner for us to eat. So it'll be delicious. Maddie, let's see the fork you wanted to use. Can you guys see that even? It's impossible. It's too teeny. It's too teeny a fork to ever even see. Look how big it, if tiny it is to my hand. It's a real fork. <laughs> it's so teeny, you wouldn't be able to eat anything. You would starve to death before you could get enough food in your face. Ew, gross. Shoved it in his face. So who has a duet? We both do. Who has a solo? I'm supposed to, but he cut it. Okay. Thanks to Disneyland. I have Oh, right? Gosh. Worth it. So I'm taking them to the choir. They're gonna do awesome. Are you guys scared? Yeah. A little bit nervous. A little bit nervous, but I've been on this stage hundreds of times. Whoa. Is it easier to sing quiet or loud? Loud. Hallie? Quiet. No. Yes. It's easier to sing loud. Like it's. It's physically easier. No, it's physically easier. Like the like when to hit the notes and stuff, it's easier to sing loud. So sing loud. Don't hold back because it we makes it harder. Gloriously. Okay. We fail gloriously and learn from it. That's our crime motto. Be yourself, but always be your better self, and we fail gloriously. Nice. Those are our choir mottos. I like it. So sing loud and proud because you can hit the notes easier with more air coming out of your face. And he said, "Okay, Holly." Okay. He said that in most things, like in games or like in solos and stuff, it's okay if like if you make one mistake. But if that was okay in choir, you'd have 32 different mistakes if everyone made one mistake. That's true. So you gotta be really. And there more than 32 people in the choir. Uh, there's 40 plus in her choir. There's 24 in mine. They're blinking better. Your battery's blinking. I'll change oh, no. it before we go to the concert. Ow, I popped my jaw. But. <laughs> Ow. Gotta unlock her jaw to do her singing. Okay. Oh. On our way to drop off the girls. Oh. <laughs>
concert was great. Hallie did great. Jack did good. Jack, you did okay at the concert, right? Yeah. Hallie did a great job on her solo. It was awesome. We'll see what kind of footage we got of it. Dad had a big heavy camera and I'm not gonna take that next time. It was kind of a hassle. But she did a wonderful job. So great. Thank you. Yay! What else, Mom? That's it. Miley is taking a shower because it's school night and it's time for bed. Yeah. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for stopping by. Bye, everybody. Be the good. Be the good. Like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Love you, bye. Good night. Bye. Bye.